Hey, what's up guys? If you're already done with iTunes and you're just looking for the best iTunes replacement, you're at the right place because I've gathered the best ones for you. So without any further ado, let's get right into it. This time I want to show you the ultimate list of iTunes alternatives top 10 because we all know that iTunes sucks. But this isn't your average list because I've divided all those different apps into different categories. The first one is drag and drop pushers and that's water 2 and water 1. The next one is music players and under this category we can see Clementine, Fidelia, Vox and Swinsian. Then there is a separate category for video players and that's VLC. Then also a category for iOS managers that's iMazing and AnyTrends. And the last one is for data recovery and that's uh, Sync iOS. So let's start with the first app. It's called Water2 and it goes into the category of drag and drop pushers because you can simply push any media from your computer onto your iOS device without any, the need to convert it or do anything else. And with Water2, you can even do this over the air. Then there's Water1, the first version of Water. This one actually can transfer all of those files via USB cable and it's very convenient as well. So the next one is Clementine and it starts our music players category because it plays music really well and it does it way better than iTunes. The next one is Fidelia. This one is for those uh, audio files, music lovers who are looking to achieve the best quality possible on their Macs and play FLAC or ALAC files in the highest quality possible lossless music. The next one is Vox. It's the direct competitor of Fidelia because it also plays those lossless files, but it has a way better interface, I think, and the user experience is uh, really unique with this one. The next one is Swincian, and this one actually looks like iTunes, but it's a um, music player as well. It helps you to manage and play your music in a really cool way. The next one is a uh, video player and it's VLC. I think we all know about VLC. It's pretty much the best video player out there for any operating system. The next category is iOS managers and we can start with iMazing because the guys from the company that made iMazing are really cool and they know how to make your experience way better when you have to manage apps, music or messages on your phone through your Mac or Windows. And also we have AnyTrends. This is another iOS manager that has a different approach with those pretty cool circles that you can use to get your media management needs satisfied. And the next one and the last one, but definitely not the worst one, is uh, Sync iOS and this app is for data recovery. If you've lost any of your files on your iPhone, you can easily restore them with this app. Basically, I'm going to cover all of those 10 and let's start off. The first one is Water 2. And what's so unique about it? Well, actually, it just does the things that iTunes or other apps simply can't. So let's say I have this La La Land movie here. And all I do is just drag and drop it from my desktop onto my phone. It's already connected to the app. And Water pretty much transfers it instantly, lightningly fast, to my iPhone without the need to convert, sync, or use any other third-party iOS players to play it on your iPhone. This is what I call magic because it transfers it so quickly and so efficiently that it literally takes seconds to transfer a movie. It's almost over now and this means that Waller will put this into the native TV app of my iPhone. Success! Done! So now I just have to grab my iPhone and launch TV app. Let's do it. Just to prove it that the movie got transferred, uh, let's go directly to my TV app and movies. And what we see here, La La Land. It's here with the artwork, description, actors, and everything else ready for native playback. Magic. You've just seen of what Water 2 is capable of, and it can do the same thing for your music, books, ringtones, and of course, movies. And this app is available for 
but there is also a free trial for you to try it before you buy it and it's compatible with both macOS and Windows. The next one is Walter One or Walter Original and it's the first app that included this drag and drop approach. It's different from Walter Two because it doesn't support Wi-Fi transfer and iBooks, PDFs and EPUB support but it can definitely get the job done if you need to transfer your music or videos onto your iPhone. So let's try to transfer this Kendrick Lamar's damn album in FLAC by just dragging and dropping it on my iPhone. The thing with this album is that it's in FLAC and FLAC is not natively supported by iOS. So what Walter does is simply transcodes it on the fly from FLAC to Alec so you can play this album natively from your music app on your iPhone. And Walter 2 does pretty much the same thing, but its algorithms are smarter. Basically, it's almost done now, and the whole album will be in my iPhone in just a few seconds. Boom, it's done. So let's go ahead and check it and see whether the whole music album is already on my iPhone. Just to make sure that the whole album got transferred, I'm gonna unlock my phone, go to the music app, and here under recently added, I can see Damn by Kendrick Lamar. The whole album, it's in Alec now, ready for native playback. Magic. You've just witnessed that Water One can transfer any music video or ringtone onto your iPhone without any hustle. But if you're looking for a way more convenient solution, you should definitely take a look at Water 2 because it can, uh, on top of that, it can fill all the missing metadata for your singers, uh, actors, and so on. It supports not only iOS, Apple uh, devices, but also all the iPods ever released since 2001. And overall, it's a, a more modern application with a lot of stuff to offer. Okay, so getting to the next category of iTunes replacements, we have music players. And let's play some music from Clementine. Basically, this is a pretty nice substitution for iTunes because it can play all kinds of music. You can sort your library and different files you have and even stream from different sources if you have some accounts or music there. It's open source, it's free, it's available for Linux, Mac OS, and Windows. If you really need to find a replacement for music listening, this is a good choice. The next music player is Fidelia and the first thing you're gonna notice is its huge interface on your desktop. It simply looks like a huge music amplifier. Really big. I'm, I'm, I'm not kidding. Like, this is huge. It's cool because it supports a lot of different music formats and also lossless music. So you can play it, you can play flag, you can play uh, all kinds of music here. And the quality is superb. Basically, it's macOS only and they offer it for $29.99 and there's also a free trial. But one thing you won't forget is its huge interface. I'm not kidding. And the next one is Fox. This one is totally different from the previous two because it has a very slick interface. It kind of reminds me of the uh, the good old days of Vinamp uh, when it just got released. What's different with this one? It's small. <laughs> That's like the first thing you notice when you look at it. And it's uh, very well organized because uh, the Cupertino, the company that developed this uh, music player Vox, they offer a bunch of pretty useful services like Loop, this service here. It allows you to upload any music you have into the cloud in any format, even in FLAC, and have access to it 24-7. You can stream directly from your phone in any place. Just You just need Wi-Fi or 3G or 4G and that's it. That's cool, um, but it's paid. I think it's around 10 bucks uh, or 15 bucks per month. Then they also offer radio stations for 10 bucks. You can buy 30,000 of them. And a very cool integration with SoundCloud. So you can stream directly from your favorite artists to your, to your Mac. Yeah, by the way, it's Mac only and the app is totally free. So that's really good. 
And last but not least, music player on our list is uh, Svensson. So let's play some music. And basically, this one is really well designed. It helps me manage and reproduce any kind of music I have on my Mac. And it does it in a really good way. No crashes, no glitches, just a very good genuine experience. And it comes uh, with a free trial, but the price for it is $19.95 and it's Mac OS only. But it really makes a lot of sense because with the sleek interface and a very pleasant experience, it's definitely worth a try. And now getting to the video players, there is by far no better choice than VLC because it's been developed by a huge number of different developers all around the world. It's open source, it's free, and it's available on every single major desktop operating system, Mac OS, Windows, and Linux. And it just gets the job done like no other video player. It can handle any format, any, uh, any number of uh, soundtracks and uh, audios and subtitles. All kinds of stuff. Simply the best when it comes to video players. Period. And now getting to the next category of iTunes replacements, we have iOS managers. And the first one is iMazing. And it's really amazing because you can simply manage all kinds of stuff on your phone without iTunes sync or any other inconveniences. You can manage your apps, your camera roll, your pictures, your music, videos, books, all kinds of stuff. And it does it in a really good way. It's simple, intuitive, and really useful. And also, uh, the, the guys from the, who developed this app, they offer a free trial. The app costs $39.95, and it's available for both Mac OS and Windows. Also, a really cool iOS manager is AnyTrans because it offers you this different approach of circles, and you can click on them, and then it will show you the window and you can simply choose any content you wish to copy to your uh, iPhone or iPad and just click open and it will do this instantly for you. So this app is an alternative to iMazing and it has its uh, own perks as well. The app costs the same price $39.95. It's also available on Mac OS and Windows and there is also a free trial. And the last but not least on our list of iTunes replacements is Sync iOS. And this app uh, falls into a different category of data recovery apps. So basically, I have my iPhone connected now via a cable, and it is analyzing all of the content that I have on my phone to make sure that everything that's been deleted can be restored. So let's say you've updated your iOS and something got removed or your phone got damaged or you've removed something but you want to get it back. Well, this app will help you to do that in a really unique way, super fast and easy and really convenient so you don't have to uh, lose your nerves over those things. So the price for this app is $39.95. There is also a free trial and it's available for both Mac OS and Windows. Some good stuff. Wrapping up, I would like to get to the bottom line. I use iTunes mostly when I need to transfer some content from my Mac to my iPhone and I think there is no better solution than Water 2 right now because it just makes it really simple, convenient and saves a lot of time. But there are also a lot of great apps that I've mentioned in this list that can help you enjoy using your Mac or iPhone without iTunes. Thanks a lot for watching this long video. I hope you liked it. If you did, please make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to this channel, and share this video with your friends. And by the way, let me know in the comments down below what is your favorite iTunes alternative. And I'll see you in the next one.